Hi guys, this is Miles from Gym and Fitness Equipment.co.uk and today I'm coming to you from my international showroom and I'm with... Hi guys, my name is Basil from Fitness Network South Africa. I've got Miles here and he's going to explain what accessories come with the Monster G12. Okay, so Basil, this is a relatively new piece of equipment, um, the, the G12. Um, so a lot of questions I've had from people uh, up until now, the G6 was the the big unit yes, in the UK, yes. and now we have, of course, the G9 and the G12. Correct. So um, let me take you through a couple of these accessories that we've seen. Good. So number one, probably the most uh, famous and well-known uh, bar for a functional trainer. By the way, the G12 is a combination of three machines, for those of you that, that don't know the unit. Um, it is a combination Smith machine. Counterbalanced. Counterbalanced, yep, yeah, that's right, which means that the bar itself is weightless. Is weightless. Okay. The, it has a functional trainer, which are these dual adjustable pulley arms connected to a weight stack. Yeah. Back, okay. And these are independent weight stacks, of course, aren't they? Correct. So yes, you can have two different people doing different exercises at the same time. Correct. Okay. And it's a power rack. That's the third option that Miles was going to mention. Absolutely. So, three machines in one. We don't have the barbell on this at the moment for the power rack because we want to show you how everything else works. So, this is probably one of the more famous um, uh, functional training bars. It's what they call the double-ended functional bar. Correct. So, this mimics a barbell. Now, I just want to check because we've done so many machines today. We have 16 adjustment points for the functional trainer. Correct. So whenever we're talking about the power racks and the functional trainers, there are two sets of adjustment points. One is for the power rack, one is for the functional trainer. Correct. So at the moment we're, we're talking about the functional trainer. Correct. So that means that you've got that number of adjustments to mimic a barbell and to get your, your angles that you want. Okay, which is far more than for instance an adjustable bench which has seven angles. Correct. Okay, so this mimics everything from being able to do a squat, you can do calf raises, shrugs, um, numerous rowing Dead movements, deadlifts, deadlifts. The chin ups. So anything that you can do with a barbell, you can do with a functional Bench. trainer and you do it with this bar. Probably the next most popular one is the uh, short bar. Short bar, yeah, which so you can use for biceps or triceps or rowing. So or biceps, triceps, rowing. Um, overhead triceps, so any type of movement that you'd be using a short bar for. That is not double ended, that is standard cable attachment in the center like that. Then we've got two nylon handles, we, I still call them D handles, but they're nylon handles with adjustments which you can make shorter as well. So that's lovely for one arm exercises or two arm exercises, very very Great idea because I mean, just with this one handle, shoulders, biceps, triceps. So you can mimic anything that you would do with Dumb a dumbbell. You can mimic with a functional trainer. Correct. That is the beauty of the functional trainer. So, what I showed you there was the barbell mimicry. This one would be for dumbbells. Dumbbells. Over here, we've got a tricep rope, which is very, very nice. So, I mean, you can do your face pulls, I mean, you can do your bicep curls, you can do your triceps, you can even drop it into one arm curls as well for the tricep rope. A very lovely piece of equipment because it gets you to control the angles. Massive flexibility. So unlike a fixed bar where your wrists have to stay in the same Correct. place, of course with a rope it's totally flexible all the Correct. time. Then we've got the lat pull down bar, which is over here. That comes with the unit. Very lovely for your lat pull downs. You can also do close grip as well, as well as wide grip as well. And again, I mean you could do your bicep curls with it as well. You can also sit on the floor and do your row. So again, the sky's the limit. Yeah. What is interesting with this, Basil, is that it has um, it has two access points there. Correct. So that you're able to actually attach it to both the both bars at the same time. And then you get the 200 kilos. Which yes. you'll see during one of our walkthrough videos. We'll take you through those exercises. Correct. Then you've got two chains over here on the floor, which are very, very nice because with the functional trainer, if you need that little bit of extra length, or you don't want to go and fetch a bar from down low, or if you're doing a lat pull down and you don't want to fetch a bar from quite high, it is very, very nice because it also helps you with your explosive base movements. Get that cable longer as Correct. well, of course. Correct. Then you've got the leg press attachment over here. And that is free of charge, of course, with the unit. Correct. Correct. All these accessories you see come with the unit. We've got the core trainer over there by Miles's foot, and it comes with this lovely core trainer handle, 
So you would stick your bar in there with your weights, you would stick the handle on, and you can do all your core base rowing. You can take the handle off, and you can do all your explosive work as well. Yeah, proper cool. And that, that is a multi, um, multi, -grip, multi -grip, well. grip handle. So this, this for me is quite unique. Uh, it's a, yeah, very, very nice addition. And of course, all our monster lines have all come with weight clips for the loading zones. And then it also comes with the knee cushion for lat pull downs. You take everything off, you put your bench under here, and that actually holds your legs underneath and braces them for the actual lat pull down. Then you come with the standard J hooks. Right. For guys that aren't familiar with the power rack terms, this is where you would rest your Olympic bar when you're not using it, but also rest it for your press. Now, one, one question that's come up, by the way, while we're talking about these accessories, there's a couple of people have said to me, it's it's quite a wide unit. How does a standard how does a standard Olympic bar get on? So what I'm going to do is actually just take that off. And what you'll notice is that this is actually shifted to angled the side in. slightly. It's actually angled in a little bit, which means that it makes it the J hook, the distance between the J hooks is slightly narrower than the rest of the frame. Then you would get your dip handle attachments that you've got here, left and right. Ten, very, very popular. Very in the UK. great. And what is like around the rest of the world, Basil? Very great, very awesome feature. Okay. Um, a lot of people actually like it, and a lot of people I find buy this purely just because of the dip. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll have, we've got the safeties in the bottom over here. So what, what are the safeties? So the Basil? safeties Why do we have are safeties? when you're squatting or you're benching over here. It's a safety there which you'll set just below your limit of before you're going to fail. So what happens is if you hurt yourself, tear a muscle, if you're older, could have a heart attack, or whatever it is, you will injure yourself or pass out, the bar will then drop onto the safety supports and not squash you or hurt you or injure you. Right. That's why we okay. highly recommend the safeties on it as well. A really lovely machine, all in one package combo on the G12. Yeah. The nice thing that I love about the G12 is the fact that it's a counterbalanced Smith machine. So you know what you are benching or squatting right, or pressing. Right, it's only equivalent to the weights that you put on Correct. the bar itself and the mechanism doesn't have any Correct. weight. Correct. What is nice about the G12, on the Smith bar, you've got the quick release clips where you can just quickly release the clips and you can actually put your weights on and get back to your training. Obviously the rest of the loading zones are normal spring collars, but the, the, the Smith bar nice is designed design. to be a quick because you don't have to fight to get a plate to put it on. So the only things that you'd need to buy um, over and above this would be the weight plates, which if you'll notice on any of our Force USA, um, either the Fitness Network or the Gym and Fitness Equipment.co.uk site, is that there are packages that include weights and include a bench. And you'll see other videos about the benches that we sell um, on this website as well as on YouTube. Correct, and what you could include if you want to do is the actual flooring that's standing on over here. We've got the 15 mm rubber flooring, and you'll notice all the monsters have been designed with anchor points in it to actually be drilled to the floor. Miles has lifted it up there to show us yep. the 15 mm flooring. Yep. Nice and thick, I mean, you can really drop weights on this without damaging your floor. Correct. And it also, the nice thing about it being in the UK for you, Miles, is you guys get very cold in. We do. And when you're training, you don't want the cold to come through the floor. Yeah. So that's why it's nice. We've got central heating in the UK. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. We don't have that yet. No, you America. don't. You don't. So no, what, what, is, what is nice is they've designed the whole monster line to be anchored to the floor. Yeah. So you'll see this has also got a nice look for a suspension train. Do people have to bolt the machine to the floor? Look, it's personal preference. You don't have to. It's standing here. But I, I recommend it if you can. Um, it's just that peace of mind. I mean, as a sit here, Miles will give you the exact figure. It's over 400 oh, kilograms. kilograms. But, I mean, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So, it's just nice if you anchor it to the ground if you want to do any... In a well, if you weigh 450 kilograms and you're swinging backwards and forwards, there's a chance that you may be able to move the machine. Correct, correct. But, so that, the but that also person. allows you to do your muscle-ups and your yeah. swinging pull-ups on there or your explosive workout. So, we do recommend anchoring okay. it to the ground. Brilliant. Basil, thank you very much. I think that's brought us to the end of that. We'll see you guys Cheers, later. Cheers, guys.